Hi, my name is Joe, and I'm one of the account managers here with Lime Painting in Denver. Today, we're in the preserve down south of Denver, one of our favorite neighborhoods to work, and we're on one of my favorite projects, actually, that we've done this year. The decision to do the sucko came when we met with the homeowner prior to doing the job for the estimate and pointed out to them that you know the stucco had never been coated since the house was originally built, which was over 10 years ago. So the stucco became porous and had certain areas of cracks going on from moisture damage and sun damage, especially out here in Colorado. So one of our biggest things um, when servicing the stucco was making sure that everything was waterproofed so no more moisture could get in and you know allow cracks to start to form. Something a little bit different on this project that we had to do was there was a bunch of areas of exposed concrete which we had to have our mason come out and re-stucco, re-skim coat before we actually coated all the stucco on the property. So this area right here had two exposed conduits that needed to get re-skim coated. And part of the challenge with a big, you know, larger wall like this when skim coating is making sure the texture matches once you're done because ultimately you don't want to have a, it look like there's a patch on the wall. So our mason was able to actually blend this right in with the original texture that they have on the stucco. So you can't even tell that it was done. Another small section, but around this electrical outlet, was you know all raw concrete as well. So we had our mason come over, skim coat this area too, just to make sure everything looked good before we ultimately did our final coat on the stucco. A lot of areas on this house are super detailed and aren't for the faint of heart, especially with the peaks and different types of areas on the house, um, which ultimately make it a custom home. But that being said, you know, it really does take the right person and the right company to make sure everything gets done properly. Um, not too often do we find where the stucco blends right in with the accent stone on the house. But in this particular project, we had to be very careful of how we masked off and applied our coating onto the stucco because there's a lot of areas on the house that have this stone bleeding through to give it more of a custom look. One of the things that we're doing on this project right now is actually restoring their copper awning on the front of the house. So what that entails is us using a certain solution to remove all the petunia from the copper from the years of weathering. And what we're ultimately looking to get is that new copper look. French doors, the entry door, and this other set of French doors here, they're actually a manufactured surface which are not able to be painted right over unless you prime them a certain way. But the homeowner ultimately wanted to repaint them to give them a fresh look. So what we're doing is using an extreme bonding primer to adhere properly to this manufactured surface before painting and then applying one coat of the exterior paint that we used on the project. In this particular part of the house, we had the pleasure of restoring these garage doors up front. So originally when we came out here, this side of the house gets so much sun exposure that the doors were starting to flake up and just had you know, a lot of areas of splintering wood that we had to service. So our craftsmen were able to come out here, touch this door up with some prep work to sand it, and then apply a new semi-solid stain on top, which gives it this new sleek look. We also had the opportunity to recoat all the soffit underneath here, as well as put a new coat on top of all the gutters and downspouts around the house to give them a new custom finish. From the thoroughness of our upfront consultation to the detailed oriented crews that we have on our jobs, um, the artistic ability shows for itself on all these projects that we've done, especially with all the custom work on each individual house that makes it unique. It's no wonder why Lime Painting has done so many houses in this very prominent neighborhood. Thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, get limed.